miss, may I help you? I'm going to my room. Uh, do you have a key? Oh, I forgot that cardboard thing. I'm on the top floor. You're a guest here? I'm with a friend. Mm -hmm. And who would that be? Edward. 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 Edward, uh... Mm -hmm. He knows me. Dennis. Yeah. Dennis, did you just come off the night shift? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Do you know this young lady? She's with Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. That's it. Edward Lewis. Thanks, Dennis. Evidently, she joined him last night. Chat. Thank you, here. Dennis. Thank you. Uh, what is your name, miss? What do you want it to be? Don't play with me, young lady. Vivian. Thank you. Vivian. Well, Miss Vivian, things that go on in other hotels don't happen at the Regent Beverly Wilshire. Now, Mr. Lewis, however, is a very special customer, and we like to think of our special customers as friends. Now, as a customer, we would expect Mr. Lewis to sign in any additional guests, but as a friend, we're willing to overlook it. Now, I'm assuming that you're a... relative? Yes. I thought so. Then you must be his... Niece? Of course. Naturally, when Mr. Lewis leaves, I won't see you in this hotel again. I assume you have no other uncles here? Good, then we understand each other. I would also encourage you to dress a little more appropriately. That'll be all. No, that's not all. That's what I was trying to do. I tried to go get a dress on Rodeo Drive today, and the women wouldn't help me. And I have all this money now and no dress. Not that I expect you to help me, but I have all of this, OK? I have to buy a dress for dinner tonight, and nobody will help me. Oh, man, if you were calling the cops. Yeah, call the cops. That's that's great. Tell them I said hi. Women's clothing. Bridget, please. <laughs> yes, Bridget, hello. This is Barnard Thompson here at the Regent Beverly Will... Yes, but I'd like you to do a favor for me, please. I'm sending someone over. Her name is Vivian. She's a special guest. She's the niece of a very special guest. <laughs> 